This garage sale already looks horrible. Uh, yeah, I'm not going there. What do we got here? Carport sales. Sometimes these can be good. Oh, nice, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, it's kind of looking at the systems here. Got yeah, the they, Xbox. They, but, uh, other than that, the got the 360 movie. there. Yeah. That's cool. There's a ton of games for all of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll try and help you a little bit. Would you guys take 40 if I was to do the Xbox and the games? I just don't know 100% like if the system works at all. And but the games alone, I would I would buy. But sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Have fun with it. Yeah. You too. The box is definitely beat up, but still 40 bucks for the game, the system, and even pamphlets and everything. Got some controllers. Actually, these are the wrong controllers, but it don't matter. And the game's alone for 40 bucks. I thought that was a steal. And the first time I've ever been able to find the original Xbox uh, in its original box at a garage sale ever. So, so anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So. Some stuff. Let's go check it out. Let's see if we got a little back to back, to back sale action here. Got one over here and one over here. That's cool. Skateboarder, we'll take that. London Fog. That's cool. Single stitch. Right there. <laughs> you good? Yep, I think it's uh, three dollars. Yeah, a couple dollars on a shirt, and then a dollar fifty on, on the other one. one. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank awesome. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You guys have a nice day. You See ya. Too. Good luck.
1975. That's the only shots for all these. Yeah. I was curious how much you want for the cups. I can have them? You sure? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Good luck with the guys. Are you guys doing the sale tomorrow too or just? No, not tomorrow, but maybe next weekend. Next weekend? Okay. Yeah, I'll stop by again. Thank you. Excellent. See ya. Can't beat free. Free? Like free, free. That's sick. They're probably wanting a lot for this. That's probably the sickest pull I've ever seen. These are the type of estate sales I like to go to. Anytime you find farming slash tractors, you know there's got to be like hats somewhere. As long as they're good ones, if there are. We got here some teas. I'm gonna continue looking, so I don't know okay. what you guys are asking for for shirts. But. Um, I was thinking five dollars each. Five dollars, okay. No, you have enough. Mind if I keep the hangers? Sure, well, yeah. I have more stuff in here. Well, I'm gonna go hunt with it. So yeah, they're a little cheap. A lot of nice ones there. Yeah, look at that. And Hayden, here's the guy. Rock mount. Yes. Let's see if I got it. How about the back of mine? Alright. Okay, so we had seven, I think, shirts. Check. One, two, three, four, five. I love this one. Yeah, one's cool. Six, seven. So, 35. 45, is that right? All right, nothing too crazy, but I'll do pretty well in these Wrangler shirts. And that Polar Ruff Lauren shirt should do pretty well on that one too.
Dann noch How's it going today? Good, how you doing? Doing good. good. All right, I think he said uh, two dollars on the shirts. Okay. I got one, I got two, I got three. Right. Uh, six. All right. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yep. yep have a good day. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing Getting a lot of people ready this morning. No, actually, start, you're starting one to pick up. <laughs> How much are the clothes? Um, the blazer shirts are three dollars a piece. Oh, okay. And then most of the t-shirts are fifty cents. Sweatshirts, two dollars. Okay. Okay. Are you just All right. There and clear? Yeah, in the four bucks. I think I'll just get these two. Okay. So six dollars. Yep. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You See too. ya. Bye. Snowboarding jacket. Get uh, twenty dollars on the jacket. Okay. Awesome. Is that what I have? All right. Yes. And that's uh. Yep. Yeah. Whose is this, Jackie? It's mine. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know where we're writing things down. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Have a nice day. Asking 20 on these? Yeah. Okay. Here you go, sir. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Yeah. I'll see you. All right, you guys. So yeah, this is everything I got. Got a lot of good stuff, so I'm gonna bring it all out and kind of go through each individual item. Let's check it out. So yeah, here you have it. Um, did really well today. They could have bought more. I did a lot of cherry picking. I was doing, I was kind of buying specific items today. Um, but obviously my favorite find was probably the original Xbox in its original box. Um, I've never been able to find one with its original box before, so I thought that was really cool. So I, I definitely bought that. But probably my most profitable item is going to be the North Face uh, snowboarding jacket. And it's also the most underpriced um item as well which was you can see right there 20 dollars. which this jacket alone i'm probably gonna sell for minimum 100 um up to maybe 300 so i'm gonna do between 100 to 300 is that i'm gonna be just selling that for so really if i sell that for that much everything else is just gonna be pure profit so yeah best profitable item right there that will pay for the whole haul 100 percent confident on that but um yeah let's just check everything else out so yeah i got these awesome nike air pegasus 92s i think these were released in 2016 correct me if i'm wrong um but again these are also kind of underpriced i mean for a garage sale 
twenty dollars. That was a steal for me. Um, I've seen some that sell for one hundred and twenty, and then as low as maybe forty five, uh, fifty dollars. So you know, I'd be happy to still get like in that hundred dollar range. But these are actually really, really clean. Um, so yeah, not much needing to be cleaned on those. I picked up these. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of these um, 7 Eleven cups from 1975. Yeah, 1975. They're all, let's see, uh, these are Conan the Barbarian. The man thing, that's pretty cool. Iron Man. What's that? Spider Man. Nick Fury. Nighthawk. Some of these are better conditioned than others. Another man thing. Uh, oh, Dr. Doom. I didn't see that one. That's pretty sweet. And then Bill Hick Hickcock. Pretty cool. And then the last one, the Black Knight. Um, so, yeah. Again, all those were, were free. So, um, I'll either sell them individually or I may price them all up in, as, a, as a complete lot so i don't know maybe all together i'll sell these maybe 60 70 bucks maybe or so on those not really too sure i haven't really looked looked those up but i know i know those are sell got some snapback hats i didn't really get too many hats today which sucked but bass fever mesh trucker hat rock mount research allies all mesh it's pretty sweet like the patch on that one I got a headset for five dollars. Oh, that was pretty cool. I may even just give that to my kids. Chicago Bulls, adult large. Maybe 30, 40 bucks or so on, on each of those. Not bad at all. Um and then let's get into the to the tees here. Got the vintage Nike. Love the white tag. Nice clean white tag made in USA. 2XL, got the swoosh. It's awesome. I did pretty well in the Portland Trailblazers. Gotta love guard cells. Single stitch. This has like a cool nylon feel to it. And then this is a, a front row made by Salem Sportswear. Adult. Uh, medium, I think. I think it's medium. Don't know. Yeah, medium there. I like the stripes on this one too. That was awesome. Good find there. And I got the Portland Trail Blazers tank top. So I haven't really heard of the brand, the Trench, but I found a shirt a couple weeks ago that was Portland Trail Blazers, also the Trench. Now I'm seeing them nonstop now. Um, made new say XL. Got some uh, vintage Tommy Hill figure. Can't remember if this was a buck or two, maybe, maybe a dollar. Yeah, old school logo. Nice spell out in the front. Yeah, maybe another 50 bucks or so on that one. And then uh, at the other sale, got this crazy polo Ralph Lauren. She was asking five dollars a piece. Never seen anything this cool with the shark on the back. This is like a fishing. Animal Spring Game Fishing, 2003, Florida. So, I think some people are asking $200 for these. One, I think, sold for like $120. If I can get to that $80, $100 range for this one, I'd be, be pretty happy with that. I only paid $5 for that one. That did pretty good on the Brush Hoppers, Wranglers. This one will probably get the most for just because it's got the awesome stripes pearl snaps that's what you always want to look for on wrangler if it doesn't have pearl snaps i probably won't ever buy them but yeah this is nice and nice and clean maybe another 40 50 dollars for that and these other ones i may only get 25 each pearl snaps they got pearl snaps on them you get them yeah, i did pretty well on these actually i got another one from another guard still today Yeah, easy $25 a piece on those. Purple, purple collar, plum, or <laughs> plum collar. 
Those are nice. And then we got some some Harley Davidson. These are pretty sweet. These are also two dollars a piece. It's got some fade sweet to it. It's on the back. And then on the back, Kona Harley Davidson Hawaii. I just love that. So this will definitely sell. This is actually a large, I think. So I don't know. This I may end up keeping this for myself, but that's a good one. And you got another Harley Davidson made in USA tank top. This one's single stitch. Harley Davidson. Shingle stitch. In the back. Grand Canyon. It's awesome. Yeah, I pretty much I will always buy Harley Davidson as long as it's got awesome graphics. Obviously, the older the better, but yeah, these are these are pretty sweet. These will easily sell. Got another Wrangler. This is actually denim. I got this at the same garage sale. Uh, Two dollars for this one. So, got Wrangler, got the pearl stamps, and you got the denim. Those are the things you want to look for. Um, I think I've sold this already before for like fifty dollars. So, probably get another fifty for this one. That was pretty sweet. And I got some vintage Ezekiel skating brand. It's got the USA. skater guy on the back. It's pretty sweet. Any old skater stuff, always pick up. And then this was, I think, London Fog, which I never really buy this brand, but definitely old. This is like an old polo golf shirt. Someone's definitely going to want this. Single stitch. Love the collars. Totally 80s, 90s. So that will definitely sell. And then always pick up this brand, guys. The brand Cool. Very expensive brand new in the stores. But uh, I think this is only a dollar. So I might get $25 or so for this one. Maybe 30 Or who knows? It's a large. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> and then obviously we got the xbox in the box which is pretty cool don't make it don't get me wrong the box definitely is got some damage to it you know it's bit, seen better days let me try to reform it reshape it a little bit um but i thought it was cool that it had its original packaging or uh, you know pamphlets inside so it's a plus um came with two controllers which aren't even the right controllers it's these are 360 controllers. But I got plenty of original Xbox controllers in the garage. So, um, but the Xbox is clean. Yeah, the, anytime you find them in the box, just get them. The, the box alone might be worth just that. But the system alone, I, can, I know I can get $40 just for the system. So, yeah, I paid $40 for the, for the system and all these games. Again, I thought the system alone was worth forty dollars so i pretty much got the box and the game so i don't know if i'm gonna sell these all individually or sell all as one lot i gotta price out these games and see how much the games um but yeah i was i was excited to get the box i always see them online but the box is pretty cool um you don't find these a lot so that was awesome and then last but not least i got some ps3 games got the kill zone kill zone games are probably the the better ones um oh and kingdom hearts is pretty sweet see i had that one nice so all right you guys so that was it all right you guys thanks again for watching if i had to put a approximate value on all this i would probably honestly say around 15 to 1600 dollars probably the best estimate i can probably do on there um sometimes it's kind of hard to estimate this stuff uh, i don't know i could be full of shit too but anyways you guys thanks again for watching please like hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you like these kind of thrifting videos make sure to tell all your friends and we'll do it until next time peace out